In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Autocrat to make a walkthrough form where you can submit your responses through a Google form and your teachers will automatically get an email with a PDF attachment of the responses. So before we get started, there are four things that you need to do. One th the first item that you need to do is go to your Google Drive and make a folder that says your school name, it'll say walkthrough and whatever school year that it is. So you can have you know, walkthrough forms, however you want to write that, but you need to have a separate folder for that. I've named mine walkthrough materials. The three items that should be in that folder is the first one is going to be your actual walkthrough form. So the actual form, I'll open that up. This is a very simplified one. This is what you will be filling out when you do your walkthroughs. The second item is going to be the actual spreadsheet from the walkthrough form. So when you have your form complete, you would click on responses and then view in sheets and this is going to make your actual spreadsheet. The third item that should be in the folder is a template of the walkthrough. This template is what's going to be used to put the answers into and be sending to your teachers. So in the template, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. All I did was I did a little thank you at the top saying thanks for giving me the opportunity to observe your learning space. And then I made a simple table. The first column is just what the question is and the second column is the answer. So you can name this whatever you like. All right, so that's in the first row. So in the next rows, what I did was I went to my column titles in the spreadsheet and I put in the column titles that I wanted the teachers to be able to see when they opened up their results. So I want them to see the teacher that was observed, which is them, who observed them, the time of the walkthrough, and so on. So what I would do is I would click on the title and then copy the text, go to my template, and then I'm pasting it in the first uh, column here in the second row where it says teacher observed. And then for them to be able to see the actual answer that I submit, I have to put that exact same thing within tags. So the beginning tags looks like the less than sign. It is the symbol that is above the comma on your keyboard. So you do shift comma on your keyboard and that's that symbol. The closing tags look like the more than sign. And so it is located above the period on your keyboard. So two there and two there to close it out. And then I do the same thing on all the titles. So for the second one, it says observer. I copied observer, pasted it in here, and then I did the tags, paste, ending tags. And so now my template is ready to go. So once again, make the, the actual Google folder, then you're going to make the form, you're going to also make the spreadsheet, and then make the template. Okay, so once you have all that complete, what you would do is you would go back to your spreadsheet, and then under extensions, you will find Autocrat, and then you would click Launch. So it's Extensions, hover over Autocrat, and then click Launch. All right, so once you have this up, you would click on New Job. And then you're gonna give your job a name. Ideally, it would be the name of your campus. It'll say walkthrough form, and then whatever school year that it is. And then you would click Next. 
and now you're going to choose your template. Remember, you just made the template. It's this Google Doc here. And you're going to select from Drive. And here it is right here. It should be one of the top ones. And then select. After you do that, then you're going to click on Next. All right, so what I want you to see here is if everything is done correctly, all of your tags are going to be mapped to the particular column. Now, I have four unmapped tags that I need to correct. So let me show you how to correct any tags that um, need to be corrected. They've got little red flags on them there. So you're going to scroll down. And the first one I see that is not correct is the Engaging Students in Cognitive Complex Tasks. So I would click on the drop-down box, and I would choose the select one. All right, so now that one is complete. And I'll do the same thing with the other one. So now I only have three that I need to correct. One more. There we go. Now that they're all correct, I can go ahead and click on Next. Now I'm going to give this a file name. So every time that there's an observation, a new PDF is going to be created and put into the Google folder that I just made. So I'm going to have the file name be a, a timestamp and the name of the teacher. So the quick way to do that is to click on this blue bar, and then I'm going to click on uh, timestamp, and then I'm going to, on my keyboard, paste, so control V, and then I'm going to space, and I want the teacher's name in there, so I'm going to go to teacher observed, I'm going to click that, click inside the box, and paste that. So now the file name will be easy to look up in case I need to do that at a later time. And I'm going to make this be a PDF instead of a Google Doc. And that looks good just as it is. And then I click Next. The folder is going to be Walkthrough Materials. That should automatically pop up if you did things in the right order. And that's the folder that we're going to be using. So Next. Next, next. OK, so for sharing docs and sending emails, yes, we're going to be sharing a doc. It is going to be a PDF. Allow collaborators to reshare. No, we're not going to let them do that. But sending from a generic no reply address, absolutely. All right, in the to field, what I'm going to do is do it to the actual teacher that I observed. So I'm going to click on the blue bar. And all the teacher emails were located under Teacher Observed. So then I'm going to click that. And then I'm going to paste in the To field. You can CC yourself or CC um, anyone in the admin team that needs to be CC'd or blind copied, whatever you want to do there. But I will say this, um, you're not going to need to do that because every single um, observation will become a PDF and it'll be put into that Google folder. That way you're not going to get clogged up with even more emails than necessary. But please feel free to do that if that's something that you would like to do. In the subject line, you write whatever you like. I'm just going to have walkthrough response. And then in the message field, I'll just say something simple. Uh, please see the PDF attachment for your walkthrough results. But you write whatever you like. And then next, run from a form trigger. Yes. So what that means, and you're going to say yes here as well, 
is every time you press submit on the form, it's going to run Autocrat and send an email to the teacher. So we have to make sure it gets triggered. Run on time trigger, no, we don't need that because they're gonna get it when I press submit. And then I'm gonna click save. Okay, so once the job is saved, then in order to run the job and make sure that uh, it keeps going, you press the play. So the merge sequence has started and now it is ready to go. From here, you can close this window. You can tell it's ready to go because a few extra column titles have been added. Do not touch any of this or add questions or do anything like that because if you do, you are gonna have to start all over again. All right, so in order to test this out, what you would do is you would click on the preview button and I'm going to just test this out on one of my coworkers. I'll choose Clara. And I'm the observer. So I'm just going to go through. And just say what we were doing. And that Claire has done such a great job. And then I'm going to submit. Okay, so once I submitted the form, what happens is, is that Clara is going to get an email stating that um, she has a new walkthrough form to take a look at. And if I want to um, take a look at how the form was filled out, I can go to this sheet and I can look it up. So if I click on this first link, this shows exactly what, what I did and what I checked. And if I want to look at it in the folder, then what I would do is go back to the folder and then I would see a PDF and here is Clara's observation. So that is how you set up walkthroughs in Autocrat. Thank you so much for watching.